back on track for the second part of the endurance. And car number 54 just coming around the final turn and there's the checkered flag. Well done car number 54, they're in for driver change. And we have car number 53, UAS Skill, coming over the line in the 53-45, followed by 72, U UAS Hamburg, with a 54-47. So... This is the first lap for the second driver for car number 18, Talon. And they cross the line and they start with a time of 56.13. Yes, yeah, so and we have car number 53, UAS Kiel, racing car number 72, Hamburg. They're pretty close to each other on the track. Car number 53, Kiel coming over the line. 53.22, let's see what the lap time of Hamburg does. That's 57.23, he, he must have made a mistake somewhere. And car number 18 sliding around every corner. They come down the final straight, let's see if they can improve their time, 56.13. And they cross the line with a time of 55.14. They're getting faster again. And I'm here in the pits with car number 54 from Barcelona. Scuteneers are checking the car for any leakages or suspension problems. They're looking very cautiously to the car. And car number 53 just got a 52.86 lap. Mickey's just waiting to see if the bus will And car number back. 54 restarts the engine. Scutany is allowing it back out. And he pulls up to the line. Getting ready to rejoin this endurance. Marshall is just waiting for UAS Kiel to pass. UAS Kiel crossing the line in 52.78. Oh, Hamburg nearly catches that cone. What a time of 53.25. Barcelona will be out any minute now. And they're off, and they're back in this endurance. Car number 18 pushing it really hard. Hopefully not too much as they come round to complete their 18th lap. They get a time of 55.48. And here comes Kiel again, with a lap time of 52.93. Remember, they had some issues during autocross. They broke part of the suspension, but they fixed it and they're back out here again. So let's see what car number 54 can do. This is their first lap with their second driver. And they're coming down the final straight. Round the final corner. Let's see if they cross the line. What time they get? 58.55. Car number 18 still pushing hard out there. And we have car number 53 and 72 very close to each other again. And across the line, 52-55, that's a personal best for Kiel. 
Car number 72 following him over the line. It's a 53-80. They're really racing each other. Car number 18 looks like it's trying to catch up with car number 54. See how many laps he needs as he slides around the next corner. And we have car number 53, Kiel, coming up for another lap. And they have a 53-33, very quick and consistent, followed by car number 72. Now the 24th lap, only four more to go. And I think car number 54 is going to get a blue flag when they come round. Looks like car number 80 is caught up. Yep, they get the blue flag, car number 18 overtakes and they come round, let's see what time they get. They've got to improve 52.86, 54.07, but they do have the track in front of them for free, so let's see if they'll get a faster time next time round. Car number three coming over the line, car 53 coming over the line in the 53.02. 12th lap, 72 following, almost hitting that cone again. With a lap time of 54.01, they've completed 24 laps, this is their 25th. Oh, and Kiel is carrying a cone, if I can see that correctly. Seems to have picked it up somewhere. Car number 18 flying through the chicane again in front of me. They get a time of 52.42. Yeah, skill, skill. Car number 53 is carrying a cone around. I'm not sure what that does for the handling of the car. Yes, it's still lodged in there. I think that cone is completely destroyed. Missing that cone. Car number 18 just got a time of 51.50. And UAS Kiel, fifth car number 53, still carrying that cone around. Is getting the last lap sign. So this this lap for them before they pull up into driver change. Coming in for the driver change. He's been carrying around the cone for a couple of laps. And I think that car number 72, Hamburg, is on the final lap. Around their lap, their 26th lap, 
two more to go after this. 